Hey everyone, it's me Parker from Parker Reese, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a um, gymnastics uneven bar for your American Girl dolls. I'm going to go get my American Girl doll and this stuff, and I'll be right back. So, first you need your doll. My doll right here. And you need. And you so and so what you need is four twelve inch pipes cut well you need a pipe cut into twelve inches like this four twelve inch PVC pipes. Um and you need to You need two 15 inch PVC pipes cut into 15 inches. You need, and you also need 18 inch PVC pipes. Now, if they don't sell these the way they are, the inches, you're probably going to have to get a long one and ask the people to cut it in half. We got ours from Lowe's from, for $10. Um, and we got three of these, and they cut them into all of that. These, this is not the full height. You can get it this size, but ours is about that much longer. Well, 18 inches longer. And you need pencil, two hair ties, duct tape, and... Four elbows, half inch, right here, half inch right here. Sorry, on all of these, you want it to be half inch on the circle. On four, 18 inch, 15 inch, and 12 inch. You need four elbows, half inch on the circle, and four T's, half inch on the circle again. And you need four of those. So let's get started with the video. So first what you're going to be doing is you're going to get three 12 inch PVC pipes. And get two of them and get two elbows and two T's. So... What you're going to do is you're going to put an elbow on each PVC pipe, 12 inch PVC pipe, on one end, and then you're going to get another elbow, put it on the other end. Make sure these are secured tightly, or if not, it's just going to, the whole thing's going to fall apart. Let's get this on. Curly. Okay. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you have two of these. You're going to get another 12 inch and put it inside of them. This is going to be your low bar. And then attach it to the other side. Oh, wow. Okay. And then, there's your low bar. But we're not done. At the bottom, get two T's. And at the bottom, make sure the holes are facing you. And not the walls. Because there's two walls, as I mean. But make sure it's facing you, not this way. So, put it on like that. And then make sure it's straight lined up with that. Those are because if it's not straight, then um, it's just going to be a crooked. A crooked. Wait. 
see, there we go. And then there, here's our low bar. Set that aside, and I'm gonna go show the high bar. So now what you're gonna need is the 18 inch PVC pipes, as tall as the doll. Little bit. Okay, like that. And the low bar is gonna be about here on them. So really, it's not actually that high, but it's, so the low bar is 12 inches, and the high bar is going to be 15 inches. Um, so you're going to get both of those, and two T's, two elbows, one 12 inch. Um, basically, it's just the same thing, elbows on, they really just snap right on, but sometimes they got to kind of push them down and get them snug. Snug. And then you're going to take your 12 inch, 12 inch, and just stick it right in there, doing the same thing. Okay. And later I'm going to show you how to put the duct tape on if you want it to have color, or you could spray paint it, but I putting duct tape on because duct tape is less money. And the PVC pipes, all of them together were... Let's see, ten dollars. I didn't buy the duct tape. We already had duct tape. I'm using my sister's duct tape. She said I could use. It. Put that on there. I don't know how much it'd be if you bought the duct tape with it. And same thing with here. Make sure it's facing you. This is a high bar. Get on. Make sure it's on securely. So, it didn't move around. So, uh, here is your bar. I'm going to go show you both of them beside of each other. Now I'm going to show you how to attach them. If you don't attach them, then it's just going to fall back on carpet or go, Woo! Every time you do that. Or every time you do like a back hip circle or something. So what you're going to do is you're going to set them up right here. That was my foot pop. I popped my foot. That was not it. Make sure they're straight lined up. So I'm gonna get this straight. Oh wow, that's really in there. And it's really easy to take apart, but it won't come up. Like, it's really easy to take apart the store and everything. So now what you're gonna do is, move my doll over. You're gonna get the 15 inch, and I'm gonna move y'all down so y'all can see what I'm actually doing. Okay, so get the 15 inch. And you're just going to attach them. Move my doll. It's going to attach them securely together. Like this. Get to the other side. That. <laughs> this okay so now i'm gonna be back and i'm gonna show you how to put the duct tape on so now is where the pencil and the duct tape happen. i'm gonna move this in front of me so y'all can see it so here's the high bar and the low bar let me scoot back oh my gosh so let me scoot back okay and they're really far apart, actually. They're 15 inches apart, but they're, it's like a doll apart. See? It's like a doll apart. But it won't stay, so. You could also get wood and put them right here, like strips of wood. Put them right here, but I don't know how much that would be. So you can get your duct tape, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's screw this forward. I'm going to show you how to put it on on the high bar. Take the high bar out, off. Take it off from attachment. Well, I'm going to take it off from attachment so you can see it. And it's really secured, so I'm going to be back to you when I get it all off. 
So now what you're going to do is you're going to get your pencil, find it, and you're going to get the lead out, which mine is kind of like a mechanical pencil. It is a mechanical pencil, but I'd rather have a pen or Sharpie. I'm going to go get a pen. Okay, got my pen. And what you're going to do is so I'm going to make a line all the way across. So just right there, just make a line all the way across like this. So, make a line all the way across, and it might come apart like that. Just make sure you can see the line and everything. And come back around, and then make a line, and then do the same thing to the bottom. I'm going to take this apart. You're probably going to take the whole thing apart. I'm going to be back to you when I've done this. So now what you're going to do is you're probably going to need another set of hands. But you're going to take these off like this. You're going to see the lines that will focus. And it goes all the way around on each side. Then you're going to get your duct tape. I want mine to be pink. And you're going to need scissors. Well, excuse me, let me go get some scissors. What I'm going to do is you're going to get the duct tape, which let me get the body pin off. And I'm just going to cut mine to where it's even because the snip that I made at last time I used this duct tape wasn't very straight. It wasn't a very straight line. Come off the plastic. Come back. But without further ado, let's get started. For cutting, you're gonna need a second hand, cup of hands. But I'm just going to fold this out like this, and woo, wee, wee. Fold it out so it's 18 inches. Oh, really long. Okay, so I don't want to let it too long, but you're going to make it where it's... I'm going to get y'all to where y'all can see what I'm doing. And when I come back next time, I'm going to have a help of hands. One, two, three, bye. Hey guys, so I have an extra set of hands right here. And I got my scissors, and I've already done one half. It's actually pink, but it's not like that. It's not orange. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do this side. Well, what I did is I made those marks, and I take these off. I went to right here, and I put the duct tape there. And then I put it all the way down, and then I made a little snippet mark on each slide, like right here, and then on this side. So I can make one on, wait, what? And then I make one on this side, and on this side. And then I lift it up a little bit and cut it. So I'm going to show you how to do it on this side. And I figured after you did this one side, that you could put these on and after you put one side on. So you're going to know when, where to put the next. So what you're going to do is you're going to get this. Roll it. Like that. And then stick it on. Way like that. And then you're going to um and it might be a little challenging, but that's okay because It might be a little challenging, but at first, but once you start doing it a lot, and then I'm gonna make little 
little snip marks right there and there and then we're gonna lift that up a little bit that and then cat oops away I don't know if it's like that it's gonna cut and out and then you have this little weird piece. Then you're going to fold it down tightly. Like this. Just get it with your fingers and get it all tight and everything and snug. There can be little wrinkles in it because there's obviously going to be a little wrinkles. It can't get perfect. But just kind of make it where there's not a lot of wrinkles. And then do the same to the other side. That. And just keep going down. See, there's a little wrinkle right there. That's okay. You just keep doing it. Go the way down. And then this will happen sometimes where there's a little wrinkles like all over the place. Um, that's okay with me actually. I don't really care. I just kind of want the duct tape on it. Just want it to be colorful. I mean, you could leave it white, but if you wanted to do it like this, you could. Um, and there's your fully covered thing, and then. Just put these right back on. Put it right back on. Make sure this is straight that way. And then you just reattach it. Um, the hair bands are for, so let me show you on your finger. Pretend my finger is the bar. You're just going to bring it around right here. And some people just like to put it in like that, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it like that, really. Just like put it through, and then tighten it like that, so to where it looks like that, and put your doll's hand in it. Put your doll's hand in it, and then they're free to run. And if it's a sketchy one like this, you just put it on there, and then instead of putting it on... One twice, let me my finger real quick. Okay. See, this is a stretchy one, and the arm's just going to fall right out of it. Put the arm in there, and then twist it around like you're doing your hair. Like that. Twist it around, and then put it around their arm as many times as it will to make it tight as possible. On the bar, though. Since all mine aren't wrapped in duct tape, I'm not going to do it yet. But I will get back to y'all once all of them are wrapped in duct tape and show you how to put them on. For real, you could use two colors, but this color is almost out. So I'm not going to do this color. But I'm not going to say bye because I'm going to come back to you and show you the finished product. So, yeah. See you in a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the doll stay on the ball. So let's go back over there and I'll show you. Okay. Hey. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your doll. Get your doll. Doll. And I'm going to show you an after in a minute. But you're going to get your doll's hands like that. Just really. That's a high low bar. Um. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get one. Gonna turn it this way. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get one like this. And most people like to just put the arms through like that, which you could, where it's just like that. But what I like to do is I like to bring one loop from right here. See how there's two? I like to bring this loop through and let me do that again for you in slow motion. Well, slow. So see how there's two? Right there, two. 
see how there's two wristbands? What I'm going to see is one, and here's two. I'm going to get this one, the first one in front, and then I'm going to grab it through to where it looks like this, like it's crossed. I'm going to bring it this way so it's crossed like that. Then I'm going to let go of the one in my front hand like that, and I'll pull, and it's a tie knot where you put their arm through like that. You could make them out or something, but I'm just going to put, like, my doll bed right there. Just a doll bed that I got. Um, and then you do that for both. Since this one's really stretchy, I'm going to pull it down and twist it just like you're going to do your hair. Like, if you're a girl or something, you like to do your hair. And then put it over her arm again. Put it over her hand again, so it's over her hand twice. See how there's two right there? I don't know if y'all can see that, but see there's two of them right there. Let's, you can spread them apart. See, because there's like, I'm going to set y'all right here, like all the way back there. There's two of them right here. See, there's two, because that one's really stretchy. Now this one's not stretchy. So I'm going to do it to this one. Same thing. Just loop it through like that. Pull it. And just put it around her arm once. Just once. Like that. And she can do pretty much anything on here. And handstands. And everything. So I'm going to show you the after look of it. So, yeah, I'll be back. So, here's the after look, and I love it. That's pink, actually. It's actually bright pink. And I'm going to show you some of her tricks on here. Now I'm going to jump. Well, no, not, not yet. Not quite yet. Technical difficulties. Ow. Okay, well, technical difficulties. Her band fell off. On. Now she's jumping to the high bar. Wait. Since she's jumping to the high bar. I'm gonna and she comes back around to the get book days and my methane masters like an hour to go. Whoa. Make sure it's kinda steady. Whoa. Well now let's do her dismount. Boom. What? Huh? Technical difficulties. And backflip. Set the landing. So I kind of came undone. But she stuck the landing. And see you next time. Well, not really. Let me do this real quick. This is actually really fun. And.